everyone today I'm going to show you how to create custom view modifiers and extensions so that you can create reusable modifiers that you can use within your SwiftUI apps so that if you change the style of something you can update that modifier and it'll update all the places that you've applied that modifier within your application so that might be useful if you've got like a custom font or style that you want to use widely throughout your application. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and add a new file. That's going to be my custom modifier. Um, if I was doing this in a bigger project, I would have a better um, folder or group structure. Um, so my, I'm just going to create a new file and I'm going to just call it my big font. That's going to be the modifier that I have. So I'm going to import Swift UI because I'm wanting to create a view modifier. And then I'm going to define a struct, which is going to be my um, big font modifier. And I'm going to extend this view modifier. Inside the um, my big font view modifier, I'm going to define a function called body which takes in the content and returns a view. So what I'm going to do is on that content, I'm going to apply the modifiers that I want to um, be able to reuse. So I'm going to specify that I want a bigger font and I'm going to specify the size of that font, which I'm going to set as 30. And then I'm also going to say that I want the color of that font to be blue. So here I'm specifying the color of the font and saying that that's going to be blue. So now I've got this view modifier, um, but if I were to apply it within the content view, I'd have to go dot modifier and pass in my modifier. And so now I'm going to go create an extension on the view. And what an extension does basically is it allows you to add some functions to the view so that you can call it directly on the view. So inside my content view, I could call the function big and it will apply the view modifier. So it's going to return my view, which I could then continue to apply more and more modifiers to. And so inside here, I specify that I'm applying this modifier, my big font, and it's going to apply the font and the foreground color to my view. So now I can come on over to my content view and I can use my extension dot big and you can see it's made that font bigger and also colored in blue. I can show this running on the simulator also for you. You can see it's showing on the simulator the same way. And this way you can create usable, reusable styles and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.